Hello, welcome to Tech Shen Math. In this session, we will discuss a process through which we can create the file in our IBM I system through Access Client solution. Okay, so this time we are not going to use any query or we are not going to write any DDS, but we will use one feature of Access Client solution through which we can create the new file in our system. Okay, so for that, what you need to do, you can click on either the download option or on the upload button. These two options we have already discussed in previous session. So let's say if I click here on data transfer to IBM I. So once you click here, it will open this window for you from where you will find this option. If you hover here, it will show this option create IBM I database file. So just click here on this option. Then step by step, it will provide you all the information which is required. And then you can follow those steps and it will create a file for you. We will do this practically. Let's see. So first thing it is providing is welcome. This wizard allow you to create an IBM I database file for an existing client file. So from this we can understand that for uh, creating a new file we need some client file. F uh, on the basis of that file it will create a file in our system. You are required to specify the name of the client file from which the IBM I file is based the name of the IBMI file to create and several other necessary details. So if you remember in our previous portion we discussed like how we can create the uh, how we can download the file. So if you haven't covered that session means how to transfer data from IBMI system to local system or vice versa then you can go and check those two sessions where we are transferring data from IBMI system to local system and from local system to IBMI system because there we discuss how we can create the client file with dot fdfx file okay because this is mandatory either if you want to upload the data or you want to create a new file because on the basis of this only it will create a file okay so this is required thing now I will click on the window again so here I will click on next now it is asking for what is the name of the client file which contains your data so it will ask for a client file uh, which it will uh, walk through and then on the basis of those data it will create a new file so I will select emppf.xls you can select any file for which you want to create the file so I will uh, select emppf.xls then I will click on next on clicking on next it will ask for the type what is your client file type so if you remember at the time of downloading the file we set this option Microsoft Excel 97-2003.xls so same type you can select if your type is different you can select from here then simply click on next and then it will ask create file uh, create file description file what is the name of the file description file you would like to create note that if if the already if the file already exists it will be overwritten so here you need to pass the new name because if it is already there then it will uh, replace that file so I am passing it as emppf.fdfx so you can browse either if you want to browse you can select this description file so you can see browse the file description file so this is required right these four both files are required and this file we can create only when downloading like when we download the data at the same time we select this file say file description client file description and it will create it okay so it is mandatory now you can browse that and select that after that just click on the next button here it will show change data option to properly create an IBM I database file the correct options for your data must be provided options such as date format decimal separator must be set to match your data data corruption or failure may result when transferring data to system if data format options are not set properly the options must match the actual com uh, contents of your data to set the proper options for your data select data option so if you want to set your data options then you can click on this data option button here you can set either the date format date separator time format time separator or you can click on this decimals from where you can select the de decimal separator we can uh, select this select data options and you can as per your requirement let's say if you want to change the CCS ID you can select from here A default character data type you can select from here okay so now just click on OK if, if you have uh, if you have implemented any changes just click on save and then press OK 
we are not going to change anything now we are going with default value so just keep your value default and then click on next here you can select the date range if you want to start a uh, start with a specific position or ending position you can select as per your requirement then click on next here you can here it is uh, providing the information scan client file to create an IBMI database file the client file must be scanned to determine its data layout select start scan to begin the scan so what it will do it will scan your file which is already there in the system and then on the basis of that file it will create a file new file so just click on start scan so basically this file it is taking for base purpose so from the basis of this it will create new file if you want to select this option you can select first row of data contains field name then click on next so it suggests these fields you can see below is the list of fields which with the scan operation determine the client file contain okay so from our file data it uh, determine these fields so if I open my excel sheet you can see there are also three fields so it <coughs> it suggested three fields for us these fields definition will be used to create used to create the IBMI file so it will take some time and yeah so it contains three fields that's why it suggested three fields only now these are the suggestion but you if you want to customize it you can customize just click here then go for details and from here you can select the name so let's say I want to select EMP name okay here I will I would go and put the description employee name then select type from any type you from this list of type you can select any type as per your requirement put the length I will put it as 30 if you want to change CCS ID you can change default value you can change null capable if you want to select you can select and include in file description file and ok ok because we are going to include all the changes in new file description file so I select this and press on ok so it is customized similarly I will customize the other two files so let's say if I want to make it as EMP ID I will go make it as EMP ID employee ID type is character length is uh, instead of character let's say if I go with DC DAC float decimal float and make it as 16 okay then click on ok with if as per your requirement you can change these value but I am going with the default value and cl click on ok now then we will select and customize this third field so just go here and write EMP city here I would write employee city and then from here you can select character length is 30 then simply go with ok fine so these are the suggestion and we have customized these suggestion but suppose if you want to add more field then in that case you can simply click right click on this from here you can select the details again if you want to customize it although there is a separate button for that second option insert field before if you want to add field before EMP city you can select this if you want to add in insert new field after this you can select this and if you want to delete any particular field let's say if by mistake some field is added so you can select remove for deleting it but make sure that it, it is very crucial thing like if you are removing something you you must be sure that uh, that field is not required for you otherwise it will remove it okay now go and select insert field after from here you can provide the another in details let's say EMP state and here I would put it as EMP employee state from here you can select any type as per your requirement I would go with character and I, I will check this include in file description because next time if I want to download this file description this should contain this field also because this is we are adding new okay now click on ok so all fields are added if you want to add more fields you can simply click right right click here and you can add field either before or after as per your requirement then simply click on next here it, it would ask for uh, where should your database file be created so as we are using public server so you can select pub400.com or if you are using any other server you can select that and then simply click on next here it, it would ask for the 
library name as file name so you can see what is the name of the file you want to create for example test lib slash test file so here test lib is library name test file is file name the file you specify must already exist in the specified library and you must have authority to write the library okay because authority is needed and also if the file is already there then it would replace it so better to provide a file which is not existing now i would i would put my file library name here so my library name is sharmit1 slash my file name so i would make it as acs file okay if you want to browse you can browse from here also but it is a good way to directly put the name as if if you remember it so i would uh, mention it as sharmit1 i want to create this acs file in sharmit1 so before we create this let me check if let me check if it is already there or not so i would go work obj slash sharmit1 slash acs file click on ok so you can see object is not there fine so now we will create this so we have provided this information so it will create acs file in library sharmit1 then simply click on next and here you can provide your text so let's say i would make it as file this is test text description for your object file created from acs okay now click on next again so here it is asking us for confirming all the options so you can see system is per 400 which is correct library file is also correct file description uh, client file description file is also correct so i would go and next click on next if it is not correct if you want to do any changes you can click on back button and then you can process or then again go here and come on uh, confirm it so i will go and confirm because my information provided information is correct so i will click on next it will take some time and then it will show some message to you so you can see congratulations you have successfully created an ibmi database file use data transfer to ibmi uh, to transfer data from to transfer the data from your client file to new database file press finish to return your database to database transfer so as we are taking reference from a existing file so it is suggesting if you want to uh, transfer that data also from that client file then you can go to ibmi to transfer option and then you can transfer your data so in in our previous part or a session we discussed like how to transfer data from local system to your ibmi system so same thing you can do here also if you want to transfer data from your local to this new file okay but we would go with some other approach so let's click on fun finish so it is created let's check if it is there or not so we will hit the same command again work obj sharmit1 slash acs file then click on ok so you can see it is created now if i take option a to verify the information so you can see it is created on 6th on 9th okay and time is this in library this created by user system so all these information are provided so it means it is created now we will verify using the strsql strsql select star from sharmit1 slash acs file so you can see it is showing the blank field because it, this file is created but with blank we have not transferred any data right so if i take f4 here and if f4 here also then you can see the, it is providing the file field information so these are the type that we have selected these are the length we have selected okay so it is providing that now if you want to see text description plus press f11 it will show you the text description okay fine so let's try to insert some data to it so i will reuse my query so this is the query i will make it as acs file so what we are doing here insert into library sharmit1 slash acs file so it will insert the data into acs file which resides in library sharmit1 these are the fields i want to update I, for these are the values for which i want to update the add the data and these are the my values okay this is the decimal field so i pass it directly without quotes and other fields are uh, inside a quote so just hit enter one row inserted we can verify again using the same command or query select star from sharmit1 slash acs file so you can see now it contains data
okay so if you want to uh, transfer your data so let's say the advantage of this option we s we saw this process like how we can create the file now we will see what are the advantage of this process so let's say if someone has shared you the excel sheet which contains uh, thousands of record and uh, it is your task to create a new file into your IBM I system and then write the data into it so what we can do we can use this feature to create the file uh, using uh, ACS tool options okay create file and through that it will automatically um, observe your file and then it will check like uh, what all fields are uh, needed and it will suggest you all those fields and as per your requirement you can customize customize also you can customize these those fields also and once it is created then you can simply transport that data also to this new file okay or if you want to insert it manually then it is also fine but creating a file for multiple column again and again it is bit time taking so better option is to go with this approach and then you can use this option to create a new file into your IBM system okay so yeah this is the advantage of this option I hope uh, you find this session useful in the next uh, session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture much